In this video, we're looking at how a client's experience with spring tension is objective and predictable. So we've got four examples here, and feel free to pause this video at any time to see if you can complete these answers on your own and come to your own conclusions. So really want to promote critical thinking, and I'm going to go through the rationale with you and see how you go with coming to your own conclusions. So we'll look at the first example. We've got clients with more body mass than average and a shorter body length than average using body weight as the load in an exercise. So I'll run through the idea with you. So if we're talking about clients with more body mass than average, what we can anticipate is that the spring tension won't be as supportive for them in bodyweight exercises. So it would be comparatively harder for them to do bodyweight exercises. If they've got a shorter body length than the average, that means that they won't stretch the spring as far. So if they don't stretch the spring as far in their range of motion, that means in, if they're doing a bodyweight exercise, they'd get less support than someone who could stretch it further. So, we could predict then, for clients with more body mass than average, and a shorter body length than average, body weight exercises would be comparatively harder. Okay. So, let's try the next one. We've got clients with more body mass than average and a shorter body length doing spring tension exercises where heavier is harder. Okay, so clients with more body mass than average will find spring tension exercises comparatively easier because they've got more mass to use against that spring tension. People with shorter body length, that means they'll stretch the spring less than other clients. And if they stretch the spring less, they get less resistance that they'd be working against. So we could say then that clients with more body mass than average and a shorter body length would find spring tension exercises comparatively easier than the average. Okay. Next one. Clients with less body mass than average and a longer body length than average doing a body weight exercise. Let's go through it. So if you've got less body mass than average, that means the spring tension will feel more supportive for you doing body weight exercises. If you've got a longer body length than average, that means you're going to stretch the springs further then most clients will stretch them based on the length of your body, the length of your limbs. And the further you stretch the spring, the more resistance you get. So that means that clients with less body mass than average and longer body length will find body weight exercises easier than the average. Okay. Now, last one. If you've got a client with less body mass than average, with a longer body length than the average, doing a spring tension exercise where heavier is harder, what can we predict their experience will be? So, less body mass than average going against spring tension exercises, the springs will feel comparatively heavier for them. And they're going to have less body mass to work against the tension, so it's going to feel a bit more challenging. Longer body length means they've got a bigger range of motion, so they're going to stretch the springs further. And the more you stretch the springs, the more resistance you get. So that's going to be harder. So we can predict then that clients with less body mass than average, with a longer body length, in spring tension exercises, they're going to find them comparatively harder than the average. So you can see here it's quite a rational process that requires critical thinking and this kind of gives you a lot of empathy to understand how the experience will be different for different clients which is really really important. Now the experience these clients will have will show up in their movement pattern so you can watch the speed of their movement 
the range of emotion they achieve, these things will tell you what they're feeling. But it's good to be able to theoretically go through this like a thought experiment and to make these connections now so that when you're in class it'll just be intuitive to make changes because you just understand it on a deeper level.